Hello and welcome to this session that will focus on the basics of binary. So let's get this right. So binary. Oh, let's write it down. B I N A R Y. There we are. Binary. Binary notation. It's the fundamentals, it's the basics of anything to do with computer science. Binary only ever works with two values. The value is either one or it is zero. Can't be any different than that. So let's have a think about this. Well, in our number system, which is often referred to in computer science as denary, the value one has the value one. And in binary, it's the same. Now, if I wanted to write the value 2 in denary, I just write it as 2, of course. But in binary, I can't, because the highest value can only be 1. So what I would write it as is 0, 1. Or properly speaking, 1, 0. Well, how does that work? Let's have a look. Let's break this down. first column has a value of 1, just like our denary system, which has a maximum value of 9. Second column has a value of 2. So we can see that, so there's nothing in there. That's 0. Ha! 1, 0, so 1 is equal to 2. Let's take this a little bit further, then. Let's have a look at 3 in denary. 3 in denary, of course, is written as 3. But we need to think about how we're going to write that in binary. Well, if I put my two simple columns out, my 2 and my 1 column, well, if I want to have the value 3 in denary written as binary, I would have 1 and 1, because I know the value in the first column is 1, the value in the second column is 2. 2 and 1 is 3. So, how do we write the value for denary in binary? Well, let's use the same sort of notation again. So, I now need a column for 1, a column for 2s, and a column for 4. Every time I go up a column in binary, I double the number. So let's have a look at this. Well, let's think. Ah, how many times does 4 go into 4? It goes into 4 once, of course. So I'll try this. Ah, 4. OK. There's nothing left over, so I'll write 0, 0. So the number 4 in denary is actually the number 1, 0, 0. In binary. Okay. So let's have a little look at this. Let's let's work on what is called a nibble. I promise you, I have not made that word up. It's actually a size in binary. A nibble is four bits. A bit is just short for binary. Digit. Oh, there we go. Binary digit. So let's write out a, a, a nibble. Well, we know that the right hand column is ones, second hand column is twos, fours, and we know what the pattern is now. We double every time we go up a column. So it's eight. So there we go. So now, just move that out of the way. columns down. So, let's have a think. I want to write the number 11 denary, not binary, the number 11, so 10 plus 1, 11 denary in binary. So I need to think, well, okay, so does 8 go into 11? Well, 8 goes into 11 once, and we have a remainder of 3. Just write the 3 down there. Okay, 
does 4 go into 3? It doesn't. So it's at 0. Now, does 2 go into 3? Well, 2 goes into 3 once, and it's got a remainder of 1. 1 goes into 1 once. There we go. So my number 11, Denary, there we are, is actually 1, 0, 1, 1 in binary. And I can check this. I can say, well, I've got ah, 8 plus 2 plus 1. So I just do some adding up. 8 and 2 is 10 and 1 is 11. Okay, now let's just flip our piece of paper over. So the maximum value I can have in a nibble is 1, 1, 1, 1. So, but well, what is that in denary? Well, we can add all of those up, of course, and say 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 8 and 4 is 12 and 2 is 14 and 1 is 15. So the maximum value that we can have in a nibble is 15. And of course, the minimum value is 0. OK, thank you very much for listening and viewing this first tutorial focusing on binary.